it's a active morning for these guys so my wonderful partner he's he's hoovering I've just groomed the dogs but sometimes I have to do it sitting down but I have a, a grooming table that was my mum's so it's sort of at the level of my height I just wanted to advise you on grooming in case you didn't know I'm not a professional or anything like that but let me introduce you to the dog so this is Floyd and he is Coming up for 13. Say hello. Ah, Floyd See that? The hair on his leg, that's really weird. This is Farley. So Floyd's a Staffy Bull Terrier. And Farley is a Jack Chi, so he's um, a Chihuahua Jack Russell. And Daddy's just got to do his eyes. I don't know where my um, whippet is. And I have a 14-year-old. Listen to the wind out here, guys. It's crazy, because we're right on the sea front. Charlotte and she's coming up for 15 she's got diabetes cataracts which we were going to have removed when we had the vet said it was too dangerous because of her age this is my puppy this is Bronson I'm not going to film my partner this is Bronson the puppy he's huge he's massive I saw um a little puppy the other day and it was in her hand. Where are you going, Bronson? Sit down. It's obedient, isn't he? Yeah, it was about grooming and um, when I read up on whippets, because this, this is mainly about whippets, when I read up on whippets, it was saying that, you know, they, they run 35 miles an hour and they're couch potatoes and we were looking to rescue one. But without sounding horrible, they made it, the people we went to made it so difficult for us. Bronson! Hello, baby. That in the end, we got a puppy. Um, no! And um, it is hard work. I'm not trying to put anyone off, but I mean, my partner deals with him, so, but it, it, they're full of it. And because of their height, they can. They can jump quite high, and he can he can put his legs on my um, shoulders. Excuse my kitchen wheel. Partner's um, ripping it out still, and fitting an old Belfast sinking. So yeah, so um, Bronson is eight months, and he's just over twenty two inches in height. That doesn't include his neck. Um, he's pretty. What are you eating? Oi, Bambi. I call him Bambi boy. Lanky flanks. Loopy legs. My partner calls him Poopy. Yeah, the group, it said on, it said about grooming on the wood pits and it said, um, don't have to do them that often. Well, I have to do them twice a week, just like the others. There's Charlotte. I'm not going to disturb her. Hello. Um... Because he's white, the hairs just go everywhere. So it's a little tip I wanted to give you. Oh, leave that. Come here. Bronson. Let's get him out of the way. Bronson. Bronson. <laughs> um, little tip I wanted to give you is apple cider vinegar. Um, you dilute it. You can't use normal vinegar. You dilute it and... Um, you can either rinse them off in their last rinse with the apple cider vinegar, very diluted, or you can dilute it first and just rub it into their coat and then groom them. Um, it is really good because it gives the coat a good shine. Um, the smell of the apple cider vinegar goes away once it's dry, completely goes away, but when you first do it, it just smells like a fish and chip shop. Um, and they get a beautiful shine afterwards and it keeps the skin healthy. It also prevents fleas. Um, so, please don't like vinegar. I'm trying to follow him around. Bronson! He had a really decent um, harness, but um, no, it was no go. I've had to order him a proper whippet collar because it just wasn't working. He's into everything, never stops. Eight months old and he's still into everything. Yes, you know, he's very skinny. He's seen a vet. He's meant to be like that. 
my first whip it I was terrified there was something wrong with him but that's how they're supposed to look so picture of health so yeah try the apple cider vinegar it's very very good for your dog um, the only way I can groom Brompton twice a week he's getting used to it now is to hold his nuts gently while I'm brushing him oh, little swine come here that's my brush come here you bad boy God knows what's going to happen when, when he's um, castrated and I'm having him done because I had a dog that got testicular cancer and it was horrible um, so if you're not going to breed your dog I would well I'm not going to comment that's my decision for Bronson but he's too young um, at the moment because I was told that whippets take longer to develop their muscle mass so I'm going to leave it till he's over a year um, I can't risk him getting it it was horrible so yeah it's a little tip then he's, he's got one of my grooming brushes see if I can zoom in he's got one of my grooming brushes what are you doing? and they go like a bullet as well by the way so it's good to have a big garden but the partner does take it out an hour or so every day he doesn't like the wind it's really bad up here at the moment we're right on the seafront the sea is just over there so yeah, that's just a little tiny bit about the whippet I've got a lot to learn he's got a bloody green brush and he's eating it I've got my slippers on so I don't want to go on look what he's done look look at that hole so we've got to fill everything now She's only little, she thought, oh, I'm going to have to go in, guys, this is, jeez. Well, I'm used to the winds up here anyway, sometimes it can be a bit scary, you that close to the sea. So that's my whippet, Bronson. <laughs>